episodes in, and we finally have our baby harem here. We finally have one more party member. 11 episodes with one episode left. So the problem that I've had all season long, and I started voicing this opinion probably like two episodes ago, is just where is the harem in Harem and Labyrinth of the Other World? I've gotten more harem time in the OP, like the opening for this anime, than I have the entire show so far. And typically, like, here's the thing, and I know a lot of you have shared this sentiment in the comments before. I am okay with a slow burn. I am okay with strong sentimentality and strong character development for one specific character. The problem with Harem and Labyrinth of Another World is it hasn't been greenlit for a season two. Nor, to be 100% honest, nor do I think it will be. I think that this might be the only season, and I could be wrong here, okay? I think this might be the only season we get of Harem and Labyrinth of Another World. And if that ends up being the case, one year, two years, three years, five years down the line, then you, me and you, and all the other viewers enjoying this show, got to witness two members out of, I think, five in total. And that just sucks, you know? So I'm not saying that I want them to speed up the the material or anything of that nature, but these, these harem-type shows... Kind of like worlds and harem, right? They need to kind of get to the harem piece of it, if that if that's what they want to be. If this one just wanted to be a a nudie fantasy adventure show, then they could have just called it like I don't know, isekai into a labyrinth world or something, and you know, not focus the harem piece of of the show, right? On episode, I think two. They could have not shown us the flashback of him and all the girls, right? They could have omitted that. They could have omitted that, and then they could have just kind of focused in like how, like how they have been. But the show is called Harem in Labyrinth of Another World, and I'm excited and I'm happy that he was able to get another party member. I think Sherry is incredibly cute. I agree with our boy Michio that she has a lot of hair, which I like a lot of hair stuff. I find it really cute that she is a little dwarf girl. I like that she's a tall dwarf girl. Apparently, they come even shorter than that. I think that's cute, too. Uh, I like how she is a... He's looking for a blacksmith, and she's a failed blacksmith. So, I like all of that, okay? So, I'm not dissing on this specific episode. It's just in totality, as we as we come to the end of the season, as we have one more episode left, which is next week, before we sail this anime off, right? And it may never come back, right? We might see it come go apart the ocean. We may, we may never see this anime come back again, and we didn't get the actual harem piece. Uh, secondarily, so let's talk about this episode specifically. I watched this episode uncensored, just like I do this whole entire anime. Reason being is I feel like if you're going to watch a, an anime that is like a, like a nudie anime, right? Like one that borderlines hentai stuff. Like if you're going to watch it, watch it as the creator intended for it to be watched. And that is in all the goodies that it has, right? If it wanna shows if it wanna if it wants to show bazanga, show the bazangas. If it wants to show French kissing, which they censor, then show French kissing, right? I wanna watch it in all of what it's meant to be viewed as. So I typically well, I mean I a hundred percent watch the uncensored version. Outside of like one episode where the uncensored version was like the next day or something like that. Otherwise I've always watched the uncensored version. This episode nothing happened at all. No sexy time even with Roxanne this episode, that's fine. But none happened with our girl Sherry either. So kind of the, the chain of events is, okay, Michio starts off with, I want to create a will. That's a cool thing. He realized his own mortality last episode where he saw one of the other uh, people inside of the dungeon die, based not in front of him, but like when they went to go take on the boss room, the dude died in the boss room. So he basically just witnessed his own mortality of like, hey, what I'm doing, the job, you know, being an adventure explorer, it's a dangerous job and I could go at any time, essentially, if I just F up in one moment. So he wanted to go to Alan and create a will to basically, and the will that he wants to create is essentially just so that 
Roxanne isn't tied to him, nor anybody else is tied to him in the future. If he dies, they have to die or they go too. He wants it to where it's like if he dies, they're free. Now, Roxanne pleads and begs him to not do that. And I, I thought it was really sweet because she was like, no matter what happens, I am with you 100 million percent. If you get sick, I'll find a cure. If you're going to be in danger, I'll go first. If you're going to die, I'll die with you kind of thing. So I was like, I love that quite a bit. Then we got to see our boy Alan again. I love how he always sells Michio on the sex. He sold he sold uh, Sherry to him based on the fact that she was a virgin. Uh, I was like, oh, here's Alan with the sex stuff. He's such a he's such a he's a gentleman's gentleman. I like I like Alan quite a bit. Uh, then you know he he tells him that you know dwarves are very hard to come by. Typically they're hard to come by because blacksmithing is a hard profession. Usually if uh, if they have too many failed attempts, it causes disruption in between the relationship between a slave and a master. So typically dwarves don't really ever go into the slave market. He does have one. The reason he has her is because she kind of failed being a blacksmith. She came pretty cheaply. He uses 30% discount. He got her for 177,000 NARS or whatever, where in the reverse, Roxanne called him, uh, cost him 600,000. So he got a pretty good deal there. Uh, and he definitely likes it, and he noticed that Roxanne got a little bit jelly this episode as well, and I like how she called herself, and I quote, the number one slave, so really like that quite a bit too. So I like this episode. I thought this episode was good. If this episode happened three episodes ago, you know what I'm trying to say? If this episode happened three episodes ago, I think we'd be in a much better place, but because it's happening right before the end of the season, and that's going to be all she wrote, not definitively, there's more source material out there, but I think that might be all she wrote for the anime adaptation of it, which hope is not true. I hope we get a season two. Hope I eat my words. If I do come back to the comments that she'd be like, ha ha. But if if not, you know, it kind of sucks for us as viewers. But I'm leaving you guys in those thoughts there. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode. And my friends, I'll see you guys next week for the last episode and the finale of Harem and Labyrinth of Another World. Sherry, I want to touch your hair.